is just that white stuff that's cold. You know, but when you look at it, snow is one of the major, maybe the major climate actor in the Arctic. You have one, one overall question that you want to look at. So what's going on in the Arctic and why should we care? We call it night, we call it Panna. We have all these different disciplines that are working on different aspects, but if we put them all together, we get a better uh, sort of picture of what's going on in the Arctic. I was here to discuss the challenges of engineering, but also to learn about the challenges of engineering and learn about the challenges of field work. Uh, this is a completely different environment from what I know, and I'm learning a lot. It feels good to, to actually experience these things that we, we only talk about uh, or read about in papers. When I heard about the, the field school, I uh, was really happy to have an opportunity to come and join, uh, join in as a mentor and help uh, with some of the teaching. Uh, how much snow is in the basin right now that contributes to this lake? Uh, show off some of the work that we've been doing, including the meteorological station up the hill and some of the uh, sampling that we've been doing uh, on snow hydrology, uh, limnology, also uh, mercury uh, cycling in Arctic environments. If they cannot drive them down to bedrock, they will drive them down deep into permafrost so, it, so it's stable for a long period of time. The Sentinel now uh, school is, is looking at infrastructure for obvious reason because infrastructure are essential to northern development. You can tell them all about the Arctic and what's going on, etc. But if you actually have the opportunity to go and see it yourself, that's something that will stay. I know a lot about the science, but I don't know much about what are the impacts for the local communities and how these are going to affect their way of living. And that's something I wanted to learn more about before starting a career in this uh, field. And I don't think people have really sunk in what an accomplishment it is. It truly is uh, an opportunity for young early career scientists to work with our students in our environment. And so I think the, the students from the south will learn a little bit about Inuit language and culture. And for the students here Sentinel North is fairly important because it, I suppose, puts more of a human face on researchers. So here we'll take the time to connect and to, to favor um, a sharing experience for everybody. And we clearly want this PhD school to be a transformational experience for, for every of us.